Hey guys, welcome back to another regular dude fishing video. Uh, I recently have been asked a question about fishing basics uh, and how someone can get started uh, from scratch uh, and get into um, fishing uh, for sport or fishing for food. Uh, my suggestion is, is to first find an area that you're going to fish, whether it be a little lake, a little creek, a little river, a little pond, uh, and go from there. If you find, like we're at here, we're at this little pond, this is a little strip pit pond out by where we live in the hills. Uh, we are fishing uh, here, we fish mainly for uh, panfish, bluegill, small, largemouth bass, and so on. So what I did was I got, this is a Zebco 33 combination. It come with a rod and it come with a reel. I think it was like $28, somewhere around in there. And most of your local tackle shops or your big box stores, Walmarts and so on and so forth, will have uh, combination rod and reels that'll, that'll get you started. And they're relatively cheap. And then since we're fishing, fishing for panfish, we just have a little panfish hook, a little quarter ounce weight, and uh, we're fishing uh, with night crawlers. So you just need a couple of little weights, a couple of little hooks, and a couple of little uh, worm fragments, and uh, find your little area of water and throw your worm in and see what happens. Uh, if you can find any kind of like dead trees that have fallen into the water, usually there'll be some fish hanging around that. Uh, if there's a tree hanging over the water where it's a shaded area, there'll be some fish around that. But it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, if you're gonna get into big river or fast currents or something like that, that's a little bit of a different animal. Uh, you just have to check uh, what you have available to fish and what kind of fish are in there. But these, uh, these rod and reels, Especially the Zebco 33, they're easy to operate. Pan, panfish are fun to catch. And uh, there's, you can put a float on there and let your worm just kind of float around in the water if you think the fish are suspended. Uh, right now with the water being cool, we're in the fall. Uh, right now we're fishing and we're letting our uh, worms sink slowly to the bottom with those small sinkers and uh, letting them sit on the bottom hoping that we can catch the uh, the spawn, the bluegill fall spawn. So it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty easy way to, and inexpensive way to get started into fishing by using uh, a little combo rod and reels. They're, like I said, there's all different kinds. Zebco makes them, Shakespeare makes them, uh, Daiwa makes them. Uh, you can get some as cheap as $20 all the way up to several hundred dollars as far as your gear goes. So uh, don't let that stop you. Don't be afraid to use the inexpensive stuff because it will catch fish just like the expensive stuff will. And uh, this is, in my opinion, remember I'm not an expert, I'm just a dude that likes to fish. My opinion, this is the best way to get started. This is how I uh, got my son started, as a matter of fact, uh, with a Zebco 33 combination. And uh, there's not a whole lot of fish in these little ponds that the Zebco is not going to be able to handle or your, your other rod and reel combos aren't going to be able to handle. So even if you get into uh, you know, a couple of pounds worth of catfish or something like that, you, your little rod and reel combos are going to be able to handle it. So there you have it. Um, like I say, the first step is to find out what you have in your area to fish. Uh, if you can find little ponds. Uh, if you have a creek or a river that's got moving water and it moves pretty fast, you're going to need a little bit heavier sinkers to keep your bait uh, settled down into the bottom a little bit more. But it's not that difficult of a thing, and even if you can't find any fish, and even if the fish aren't biting, it's still fun to get out and enjoy nature and you know get some of your buddies together and go fishing and hanging out. It's just a great way to spend an afternoon either in solitude, making peace with yourself, uh, hanging out with your friends, and hanging out with your kids and the rest of your family. It's just a great thing to do. So I hope that helps. Uh, it's like I say, you should be able to get started for under, you know, thirty to forty dollars. Common eel, uh, co rod and reel combination, not a common eel. Rod and reel combination. Little pack of little hooks. Little pack of little sinkers. Little pack of worms. Worm on the hook. Sinker on the line. Throw it in the water, and uh, see what happens. So, I hope that helps. I uh, hope that answers your question, bro. And uh, I can't think of anything else because it is really a easy thing to do. Uh, Anybody can do it. So, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll, uh, if we catch anything uh, this evening, we'll turn the camera on and try to get a couple of clips of catching some bluegill. Uh, but if not, then uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. So, take care.
a little bluegill. <laughs> this is not definitely not a keeper either size, but they are fun to catch. And uh, I didn't get skunked, so little bluegill. These little ponds, and these little oop, these little ponds and creeks are full of them. These little dudes, and uh, they love eating them night crawlers. So. There you go, we're gonna turn him back loose. Go on, little guy, get back in there. And if anything else happens, we'll uh, we'll let you know. Little bluegill. He's a little bitty guy. <laughs> He's not even as big as my hand. Fun to catch. Well, there we have it, and they're they're frisky. Another little bluegill. That'd be a good bait size for you guys at catfish, big catfish. But we're gonna toss him back in there, and it's getting about uh, dark, so uh, <laughs> we'll get him back in the water. We're probably gonna be headed back home here pretty soon. But just a quick little fishing video on the bank of a pond, having some fun, enjoying nature. And uh, get out and get her done. So we'll uh, we'll get more next time, guys. So until the next time, we'll see you in the next video. Fishing.